Welcome everyone, Teal here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add water ripple effects to your uh, screenshot or still image in Wallpaper Engine. Uh, so you, what you want to do is you want to use an image, obviously, press effects, uh, and then you go look for water ripple. I mean waves uh, and flow also work, but I find the ripple effect to be the most versatile. Now, if you look at this, I mean it looks terrible to what ripple effect is covering the entire image so you go to opacity mask uh, and then you can draw uh, which parts of the image you want to actually be affected by the water ripple uh, now one thing you need to be cautious of when using this tool is that the tool will cover parts outside of the circle like you can see here my circle ends here but it's still affecting parts up there um, so if you're going to cover really small areas it's going to be really difficult uh, without affecting the environment around it too much so I'd suggest going for a low value uh, around those areas uh, I was going to uh, draw around the entire image and I'll bring you back once once I'm done well so now I've basically done the entire image there's I mean there's some parts left to cover like above the circle uh, I think there's water going around him to like up there uh, anyway uh, there's different ways to make this look smoother I mean you can change the animation speed, you can lower it to make it more peaceful, or you can increase it if you want the image to be fucked up. I mean, this is like if it if you want to go for a boiling effect, sure this this works, but we don't want the water to be boiling. So you can go for this or which is the standard or you can go slightly slower. Then you can change the direction. This does doesn't actually change a lot I mean you can just keep this at whatever speed do not change this just a tip unless you want to go for that boiling effect like I previously mentioned but you want to keep this at like the same all the time I'll keep it at that uh, strength you shouldn't just shouldn't don't change this I mean unless you lower it but increasing it just makes the image look like this <laughs> and here you can see where I where I didn't actually use the ripple effect <laughs> I get kind of lazy here but I mean I'm not going to use this as a uh, wallpaper this is just uh, an example so you want to go back to the normal now ratio this is the important thing that you want to change because uh, the ratio will uh, if you're far away you want to go for a higher ratio I mean if, if you want to have like a distant ocean or something uh, in the background you want to go for like the highest ratio possible uh, but if you're closer you want to go for a lower ratio not the lowest um, but something like one or something between that 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 looks fine um, so experiment with these settings uh, to find what suits your image but I mean other than that there isn't a lot to do with this effect um, it's pretty straightforward but it's still really effective uh, for making a cool wallpaper anyway that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next one bye